Hey guys, Dark Barn here for Dark Barn Vlogs. Um, my buddy and I, we've been doing some audio stuff, um, collaborating via using uh, Google Drive online. And um, he uses Cakewalk, and he's new to recording. He's not really ever done it before. And um, I've done quite a bit, but I've never really done Cakewalk. But anyway, so if you don't know what Cakewalk is, it used to be uh, Sonar, and it was owned by Gibson, but then they kind of went, you know, with it. And um, they ended up uh, discontinuing it, and, the, and then BandLab, a company called BandLab, came and bought the rights to it and have re-released it. Um, and it's the same program pretty much. They've done some updates, but it still comes with the same uh, features and, and whatnot. Um, but they've released it completely free. And when it was not free, it was like a five or six hundred dollar program. So um, if you have, if you're not ever gotten into music, um, it's a great time to try it out. And if you learn learn that program instead of learning something like Pro Tools or Reaper or whatever then you won't have to pay anything and you'll still have just as good of tools really. Um, but anyway, uh, I decided I was gonna make a tutorial video on a few things cause he was having some problems with um, some of the synth stuff doing MIDI and um, I don't know a ton about Cakewalk but I've, I've figured out a few things that I thought maybe might benefit him or anybody else on the internet that is trying to get into to recording. So he was working on um, doing a cover of Every Rose Has a Thorn, and what he was doing is he would go to one of the websites that has like the MIDI tracks and download it. And then you can load it into your DAW and put um, virtual instruments for the drums or whatever. And then he was just gonna like do his, maybe his own guitar parts or, or whatever, and then, you know, vocals. Um, so, <clears throat> all right, so, to get started with that, of course, you got to go download um, the MIDI files, which you can just search the internet for that. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to show that part, but I've got that downloaded right here. And I've found there's a couple ways you can get this into Cakewalk, okay? And one way does not work as good as the other. Um, actually, there's three different ways. So you get into Cakewalk. Put this on here. Get into Cakewalk, and if you start a new project, okay, you're in the new project. Um, it actually grayed out, grays out MIDI. I think you have to add a MIDI track and then import it. What you could do instead of doing that. It's just simply drag this over top of the screen and it's going to put it in there for you. The problem with doing it this way though is it defaults to the standard 120 BPM which is the standard for any DAW whenever you first load it up. That is not going to play back the audio correctly. Okay, to fix this, this is what I have found you have to do. So let's close it back out. There's two ways to do it at this point. You can just double click the file. It actually associated itself with Cakewalk automatically on my Windows computer, um, which actually I think Cakewalk is just Windows only anyway. So you could either double click it or right click it and say open with Cakewalk application. That's to me, I guess, really the simplest thing to do. And okay. Why did it not open? Let's try it again. Now my Windows computer is wanting to be aggravating here. Okay, there it goes. I, I don't know what was up with that. But anyway, so that opens it correctly with 72 BPM. That's what we want. Um, the other way to do this is, let's just say you've already opened it up. Close this out here. 
and drag it over top of it. Okay, well, it's supposed to work. Let's see here. It worked for me earlier. Now it's wanting to not work. I don't know. Um, oh, there we go. I guess it's got to be right at the right part of the screen there. So anyway, we're in Cakewalk. We got the MIDI. We hit play. Okay, um, I've actually got to route this to Reaver so you can hear hear this. Um, <clears throat> so if we hit play. <laughs> So you're going to hear it. Uh, what it's doing is it has seven different tracks of MIDI. It's routing all these MIDI tracks into track eight here with a soft synth of the Cakewalk TTS. Um, when I do MIDI, normally I do different um, different synths on each MIDI track. That's the way I work. But this is okay if, if you're okay with this, all the sounds you're getting out of this one plugin. And I'll show you the plugin here. Um, because it's got, you know, pianos and all sorts of different sounds. So all in one plugin and that saves CPU or whatever. Not the greatest sounding thing in the world, the way they're the way it is right this second anyway now there may be ways to get it to sound better I'm not gonna get into that because I don't know I haven't done much with it um, but okay so let's just say though you want a different drum program a better sounding drum program than this to do that insert soft synth oops I hit the wrong thing insert soft synth and cakewalk comes with a built-in drum kit right here the si drum kit right there uh, i'm not going to go through all these because i don't really know much about them i'm just going to hit okay <clears throat> okay but right now we do not have the midi routed to this so we got to fix that so track seven, I know, is the drums. They don't label. When you load it in, it doesn't label it for you automatically. Some MIDI comes where it's labeled, and this one does not. So you've got to, there's two, two different ways to handle this. You can route this to the SI drum kit right here. And now, Okay, so now we've got the SI drum kit playing the drums instead of the Cakewalk um, TTS. The other way is if you don't want a MIDI track and this track both in your console view or, well, your session just to save on clutter, is you can actually go with the Move tool here or I think the Smart tool works as well take the MIDI item and drag it down to the SI drum kit line here. Now you could actually delete track 7 and get rid of it. Okay. Okay, so Another thing with this Cakewalk drum kit I found is it's a little different, I guess, from what I'm used to because right here, that cymbal is just awfully loud. I mean, you can fix the volume on the cymbal. You just open the program up, change the volume of the cymbal, bring it down. Okay. But what I found interesting is, see, I own Superior Drummers, so I use it 
pretty much for any kind of drum stuff I do because it's just amazing. Uh, of course, it's not cheap, so you know not everybody's going to want to buy buy into that. But um, to change, let's just say you want to change this to Superior Drummer instead of this this VST I uh, VST instrument. You just go over top the track here, right click, replace synth. And then you got to go find it, which in my case is under uncategorized for some reason. All right, so it's going to load up. And it is a much bigger program, um, so it does take a little bit of time. As you can see, it's loading up a gig worth of samples alone right there. Okay, so... Let's just see how this sounds in comparison. So, much more realistic in my opinion. Much more detailed. Um, so let's try one of these presets. And now it's loading in the samples associated with this preset. And of course this preset also has like compression and EQ settings. Um, so it's going to sound totally different than what we just listened to. And when I say EQ and compression settings, it's the EQ and compression that comes with this program. Because this program has this own mixer and... This tutorial is really not about this program, so I'm not going to spend too much time on that. But now we're loading like three gigs worth of information for this preset. Okay, so let's just say we also want to change the bass. This is the bass right here. Insert, soft synth, SI bass guitar. This comes free with Cakewalk. And this is actually a really nice bass synth. I like it a lot. So, and I've got to route this to Reaper as well. Um, all right, so the, the bass should be on track six. I'm just going to change this to bass. All right. So we change the output from the Cakewalk TTS to the uh, bass guitar here. Uh, or the other option, of course, take the MIDI file many notes drag it move it and then you can delete so you don't have as much clutter get rid of that and if you don't want the si si bass guitar down here if you don't want it to read that you just want to say bass or um hey gene i'm making this video for you then you can do that you can change it to whatever you want to. Okay, so anyway, I'm not going to go through any more of this. I think that should give you kind of what to do there. Um, and I hope you guys, because this is not just for Gene, this is for whoever on the internet wants to watch this. I hope you like this and you'll subscribe to my channel. See you later.